Hey everybody, this is Jamie Buter with 432 Design, and I want to follow up on a previous video that I did. Uh, just for those of you who haven't seen the previous video, I just want to like uh, just recap real quick about the icosahedral water cluster. Okay, in um, in a science paper I found uh, the water structure of science, and all the papers that I'm going to show you, the links to those will be in the in the video description below. But they talk about icosahedral water clusters. Now, icosahedron is this shape here, okay? It is the, uh, it has 20 faces, it is the top of the line for, uh, of the platonic solids. And they talk about icosahedral water clusters uh, forming tetrahedral units, all right? A tetrahedron, of course, is the, is this guy, and it's at the, it's at the bottom, all right? The first of the platonic solids, okay? So essentially what, what this paper is saying that there are 20, there's 20 faces, there are 20 tetrahedrons in a uh, icosahedral water cluster. All right, now here's here's the problem. When you when you do the volume, right? When you calculate the volume for an icosahedron with a with a side of one inch, okay, you get 2.8 uh, 2.18 cubic inches. Now, if you do the same, right? If you calculate the volume uh, for a tetrahedron, right, with a uh, a side of one unit, right, you get a, a volume, but you multiply that by 20, right? Because there are 20 of these and, and one of these, or 20 tetrahedrons and one icosahedron you multiply the volume of one of these by 20, you get 2.4 cubic inches, right? There's a difference here, okay? That difference is 9%. Now, I showed this in the previous video. Now, what's, what's interesting about this is if you look at the density of water, for example, uh, fresh water is, is 1 gram per milliliter, okay? Ice, however, all right, is 0.917 gram per milliliter, okay? That is an approximate 9% difference. Now, what happens when water freezes? Now, water is one of the only, or one of the few things, right, that actually expands when it freezes. Everything, most everything, right, when, it, when you cool it, it shrinks, okay? But water, when you, when, water will shrink when you cool it, but once it gets to a certain point, right, and then it starts forming that very first ice crystal. From that point on until it's completely frozen solid, it expands 9%. It expands the same difference. Science doesn't know this, okay? I'm calling this, in the previous video, I'm calling this hexametric compression, all right? This has to be compressed. The tetrahedral structure has to be compressed within the icosahedral water cluster in order for, in order for all this to work out like this. In order for water to freeze, it expands. Where does that expansion come from? Okay, it comes from the unpacking, right, of the tetrahedral water cluster within the icosahedral structure, okay? It's, 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 I mean, that's super important. Now, one of the other things I wanted to talk about, right now we talked earlier I mean, about uh, the icosahedron, right, is compressed, which makes it electric. The tetrahedron is not compressed, which makes it magnetic. <clears throat> and I also talked about uh, pH, uh, water and the pH, okay? Like oral water and distilled water has absolutely no minerals in it. Uh, it's, they're none, hardly any. When you drink this type of water, your body needs the minerals to break this cluster down, okay? It has to have these minerals. If you drink RO water or uh, distilled water, which is, has essentially no minerals in it, your body has to draw minerals from itself in order to be able to break these down. Now, I'm going to do a uh, video um, uh, here just a little bit explaining the absolute importance of minerals. In fact, in the 1920s and 1930s, Nobel laureate told everybody uh, in his research that most all disease can be uh, brought to mineral deficiency can be tied directly to lack of minerals. All right, most people are, are, are trying to get minerals through vegetables, through uh, other sources, and they're just not there. They're, the minerals in the soil just aren't there. When you eat a vegetable, the minerals just aren't there. You have to have minerals. You have to supplement with minerals, and I'm going to get into the absolute importance of that. Um, but I just wanted to show this um, real quick. And one more thing about the absorption of minerals. In this paper here, now of course this is going to be in the link itself, this is the absorption of minerals and metals. Metals, And right here it says, iron is absorbed by villous enterocytes in the proximal duodenum. A efficient absorption requires an acidic environment and antacids or other conditions, such as high pH water, like Fiji water and some of the other ones that are even higher. All right, let me read that again. Efficient absorption requires an acidic environment and antacids or other conditions that interfere with gastric acid secretion can interfere with absorption. All right, so if you're drinking highly uh, high pH water that has no minerals in it, you're interfering with your uptake of minerals you're trying to get. You're interfering with the whole process. And right, I'm going to get further into detail on this, but I wanted to show how, how the, the difference, right? The unpacking, the icosahedral hexametric compression 
of the icosahedral water structure makes up 20 of the, of the of tetrahedrons, which gives us a volume differential, but that volume differential can be seen in, in ice, and we can see the unpacking. As water freezes, it breaks itself down from this to this. But we know that, it, that when water freezes, the crystals are hexagonal, right? What that is showing us is the behind the scenes invisible energy that makes up the things that we actually see, makes up our physical world. That is the hexagon, that is the hexametric compression. But uh, anyway, um, I just wanted to, to finalize this and get to this so now I, now I can get on to the importance of minerals in my next video. All right, thank you for watching.